What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, man, we are back with some brand new WWE action figure news, and it is insane news, man. I am over the moon about this news. This is news that I didn't expect, alright? They told me it, it wasn't sustainable. They told me it was not sustainable, but today... We prove otherwise, man. It is a damn good day, and it's also 316 day, so pour a cold one out for Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm not going to drink one, but you sure as hell can. Nonetheless, in today's news video, man, we have some figures that I just, I mean, unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. I woke up this morning ready to watch March Madness, ready to watch the tide roll, and I wake up, and my phone's blown up with all of these new reveals, okay? Not, like, we got a few reveals. Like, there's some damn good reveals, but then we have a list of some leaked reveals that may be coming soon. Not 100% confirmed, but more than likely coming, man. Nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and dive into it. Starting out first, we had some Ultimate Edition figures, and not only are they Ultimate Edition, we're looking at Walmart exclusive Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero, man. And I have so many things to say about all of this. We're going to get into what I love. We're going to get into what I don't like about the figure, but holy crap, we have an Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero figure, a figure that we all knew was probably coming. You know, we We've been debating it. Would it come in the Mattel crowdfunder? Would it come, you know, as an exclusive in the Legends line at Target? No, it's a it's a Walmart exclusive, and it's Ruthless Aggression Ultimates. Now, they told me years ago that a Ruthless Aggression Elite line was not plausible, and now we're getting Ruthless Aggression Ultimates? I mean, I'm thankful for it. It's just insane that, you know, we've tried for years. we set it for years. Give us more Ruthless Aggression. Give us more Ruthless Aggression. We need this. We need that. And now they are finally delivering all the goods with the Ruthless Aggression Elite. And now we're getting Ultimates, man. It is hitting me right in the heart with just figures that I, I am just blown away by. And this is this is unbelievable, man. We are literally in the golden era, especially for me, man. This is beautiful. Now, I know a lot of people complain about the Eddie Guerrero skin tone. A lot of people don't really care for this John Cena torso they put on him. I don't absolutely hate it, but I think you probably could fix it up with maybe a Rick Rude torso or, or something of that nature. He was pretty damn jacked, but I don't I don't know about this specific torso. Or maybe even the mod. They give the Macho Man. I can't even remember off the top of my dome. Maybe the Macho Man torso would have been better here. You know, they use that torso for his elite figures, but you get the WWE Championship. You get the Latino Heat shirt that is going to be cloth goods. I hope to God they don't put the modern WWE logo down there. I just noticed that on the Latino Heat shirt, but I love the new head sculpt. You got the smirk. You got the smile. You got the 04 cut. You got the screaming expression. Man, this is Chef's Kiss. I know it's the Legends figure, you know, as an ultimate, basically, and it's not a perfect figure. Figure, but I'm all for an Ultimate Edition Eddie Guerrero. Now my only thing is, you know, how, uh, where does this play into the crowdfunder? You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, we're going to get a SmackDown Fist stage and a Low Rider and an Eddie Guerrero Ultimate and this and that. I guess you still could get a Ruthless Aggression style Mattel crowdfunding project with a fifth stage and then the lowrider is part of one of the tiers and then Eddie Guerrero is just Walmart exclusive but uh, I don't know I don't know where that fits in you know that's just some different levels to it you know everybody's kind of looking into that defining moments mankind maybe they're going to give us a hell in a cell that's off topic but that's just some of the things that are coming into my mind when looking at this ultimate edition Eddie Guerrero but not only are we getting a ruthless aggression ultimate edition Eddie Guerrero we're also getting a ruthless aggression ultimate edition Walmart exclusive Rey Mysterio and it is a re-release of his entrance greats figure so this is going to be a redo update ultimate edition of Rey Mysterio from the entrance greats line obviously this is from when he won the world heavyweight championship at Wrestlemania 22 from his entrance gear beautiful moment beautiful figure you know it, it looks great I like it he's got his contacts in I mean this is an epic figure not completely accurate I'm pretty sure he had like red on his gloves and you know there's some details that are definitely missing here however I still think it's great this does look to be a brand new torso and it is our first ever Rey Mysterio Ultimate Edition and I'm sure we're probably going to get more Rey Mysterio Ultimate Editions at least one more you know I just feel like you know that could fit but I love that it's icon these two figures specifically these Ultimate Editions this Rey Mysterio right now it looks a bit plain it is going to come with his entrance gear and maybe maybe a cloth shirt from around this time would be cool it, it, it has to come with the big gold it's got to come with the World Heavyweight Championship as well maybe they could do an updated version of that because we haven't seen you know we've, we've had that same mold for that title for a very long time but this is going to, this is cool that it's an epic moment you know what I'm saying it's one of those defining moments in his career and so this is uh this is great I, I like both of these ultimates looks a bit plain Jane without the accessories but I'm all aboard both of these I think they look fantastic but we have one more figure coming soon that is going to be in the elite line I do believe with Tori Wilson so Ruthless Aggression Elite Series 4 
features Tory Wilson and then it also features this guy which is going to be Edge and this Edge figure looks insane now I think some of the deco on this figure is wrong but this is an attire that we've been waiting on for so very long rated R Edge in the purple camo oh my god in heaven bro this is absolutely beautiful this is absolutely beautiful the figure looks insane they finally captured a ruthless aggression Edge like that you know that very crazy smile that he's got going on I mean, this figure looks absolutely stunning. The purple camo is just chef's kiss. I mean, this is a figure we've been waiting on. I think it looks just like Edge. You know, we've had a Edge from around this time period, and it was very derpy in the WrestleMania Builder figure wave from WrestleMania 22. But I'm so hyped for this figure, man. It's it's truly unbelievable. I love all three of these figure reveals that we got here today. They're just render images. You know, we may see these on display at Axis. I think we may get a Ruthless Aggression, you know, Elite display with Series 3, Series 4, maybe announcements of Series 5, but this is not the best part of the news in my opinion. The best part of the news is going to be this leaked lineup right here, man. And if you look at this leaked lineup, it says Mattel, Walmart, WWE, GWP, it has the thing, participating product list, new elites and ultimates announced by Walmart for the 2K23 promo. You guys can see a bunch of ruthless aggression elites here, John Cena, Kevin Nash, Shelton Benjamin, Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eric Bischoff, but then you guys can see where it heats up. Edge, Tori Wilson, JBL, The Rock, The Miz, and MVP. So Series 4 and 5 here ap apparently are, are leaked out right here, man. Edge, Tory Wilson, and JBL. We already know what Edge and Tory Wilson look like. We've been wanting and asking for an Elite 23 update JBL for so long. I guarantee they're going to give him the same ripped up torso that they gave him so long ago. They did it on his Bradshaw Legends figure as well. Very annoying because he was, he was not that lean. You know what I mean? He was not that lean. He was pretty damn big. His torso is big. He needs a bigger torso, but I will take an updated head sculpt. I'll take a cowboy hat, a damn track jacket, a towel, maybe an undisputed championship again. That figure should be insane. And then we have The Rock, The Miz, and MVP. Oh my god, dude, that MVP is going to be so beautiful. I hope it's his debut gear. Give us debut MVP with an update on his old Elite One head sculpt. That figure could be so much better, you know. They killed his, his other Elite that we got, his other basic that we got recently. Take that head sculpt, Put some cornrows on it. I mean, good lord, what a figure that'll be. That'll be one of the best figures of the year, bro. But The Rock, it'll probably be Hollywood Rock. It'll definitely be Hollywood Rock. And then you have The Miz, which I don't really care about, but I still think it'll be a cool figure to fit in the Ruthless Aggression line. Now we just need Ruthless Aggression, Dolph Ziggler, as Nikki in his Spirit Squad gear. That's what needs to happen next. But there hasn't been a repeat person in this line just yet. And I think they said the set was going to go, what, seven or eight series? So we're, we're looking good here. But that's not even the best part. If you go below this, you guys will see here that it says Brock Lesnar, Batista, Shawn Michaels, Rey Mysterio, Booker T, Rob Van Dam, which are figures we already knew about, but then you go below that. Ruthless Aggression Ultimates, Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero, and Rob Van Dam, and Brock Lesnar, bro. Oh my god. Figures that I have been wanting forever, man. If that is Rob Van Dam... One Night Stand. Hell, even his Money in the Bank gear. Ultimate Edition Rob Van Dam with the custom airbrushed Money in the Bank briefcase. I'd love to see the ECW and WWE championships, but just the just the briefcase, and it'll look just like the render I did, but it'll be Ultimate Edition form. I will have to jump off of a mountain, bro. That is unbelievable. And then you throw in a Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Brock Lesnar. Oh my god. Brock Lesnar's Ultimate Editions are, are some of the best Mattel figures they've ever done. His recent Ultimate is just unbelievable. You put, you take that exact body and put it on a old version of Brock Lesnar, throw in a Here Comes the Pain Cloth Goods, a WWE Championship, maybe some track pants. Oh my God, I am just so excited, man. I this is this is exactly what I've been asking for and wanting for years, and to see it come to fruition, man. Uh, it, just to see them listen to us and listen to the ruthless aggression fans just touches my soul. Unbelievable, man. I have no words. I have no words. I am absolutely just over the moon. I have no words for what the hell I am witnessing here. I'm about to vomit. Of course, we don't know what a lot of this stuff looks like, so, I mean, anything goes. Besides the render images we already see, but I am unbelievably ready, man. I, I can't even, I can't even, I can't, e I have no words. I have no words. But I think that's pretty much gonna wrap it up, man. I hope to God we see some of this stuff at Axis. I will be attending WrestleMania and WrestleMania Axis, so if you guys are there, you see me walking around, man, definitely ask or tell you, let's talk, man. I, I wanna talk figures. I wanna say what's up. Grab a phone. 
photo. Sounds like a, a fantastic time, man. I can't wait to see these figures on display or some of these figures on display once we get there. But I am getting out of here, man. Huge shout out to our patrons over on our Patreon. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron of the channel, you get a lot of bonus perks and things like that. If you guys missed my video from this morning, definitely go check it out. That is going to wrap up this video, man. I ah. Now I'm going to go back to watching basketball. I also have my championship game tonight for my rec league. You guys remember we lost that game the other night. Well, we battled our way back. We're on a four-game win streak, and now we are playing for the championship tonight. We In the first round, we blew out the team. In the second round, we blew out the team. In the third round, we had a really good game, and now we're playing in the championship versus a team that's already beat us twice, and they are undefeated, and they're the best team in the league, and we got to go at them right for the gullet in order to win this championship, and I'm freaking hyped for it, man. But that is going to wrap up today, man. Wish me luck. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. Let me know your thoughts down below on all of these figures, man, but I'm getting out of here. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never